Get those brakes. Get the brakes going. Oh, wait. I just lost a Kerbal. Greetings, friends, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program! It's been a long time, been a long, long time since I did a career mode episode of this. I've been preparing, preparing for the jewel mission that we got the contract for. It's been a long, tough job trying to design a ship, a mothership, get some landers on it, uh, some satellites like usual. It's, it's gonna be a complicated nightmare. And I haven't designed it all yet. A lot of it, a lot of the core stuff I've designed, but not, not all of it. But I realized while we were doing that, I still have a contract here. I don't know when I accepted this contract, building the service outpost on the moon. Don't know when I accepted it, but I did accept it. And the deadline is in three years, which is gonna be before I get to Jewel and back, for sure. So we gotta do this mission first. We gotta do this, and uh, we're not, we're not really not gonna get any money out of it. 196,000 funds. That's not so good. In the meantime, we can plant a flag, try to get some more. New service outpost on Minmus. That would be a good idea. We, we could get a surface outpost there. We could get some resource, like, mining going. That would be fun. It, maybe I'll accept that one. Why not? But we gotta, in this episode, we gotta get this moon thing complete. So, away we go! Alrighty, here we are! Should probably check. We want a rendezvous with that thing. Oh, it's, it's a bit far up there, isn't it? We didn't plan that very well. Mm, do we wait for it to come around? Nah, we just go now. And away! Go Middle Bliss! That is the weirdest name. Don't I have Kerbal Engineer installed in this? Guess not. Still haven't fully figured out how that mod works yet. Doesn't help that it's changed since, like, the beta version of the game. Or the pre-beta? I started this at point, 0 0.023.5 when they first added these NASA parts. Uh oh, I'm realizing a problem. The pod on the top is mighty wibbly wobbly. Can't go full throttle. It's wibbling wobbling. I didn't strut it up like I thought I was going to. Alright, those can go goodbye. Look at how those separatrons work. Screw you, Space Center! I drop my rocket parts at you and laugh. Okay, the question is how do we start the gravity turn without increasing this whole oscillation thing? Oh, jeez. Oh no. Oscillation thing. Going wrong. Mill bliss. Don't die, man. I've just now realized I didn't put any parachutes on this. So this is definitely. Milblis is gonna make it, or he's not. Don't you worry, good sir. Oh, oh, he's he's looking scared. He's looking real scared. Start rolling on the throttle. Don't you worry about a thing, man. I, I got you. I got you. He's worrying about many things. So am I, if I'm honest. It really has been a long time since I played this game. I am super rusty at flying a rocket. And designing a rocket. Whoa, whoa. You can usually whip up a moon mission rocket without a problem. This time I forgot strutting the thing down. Alright, well now that we're in space anyway, we can jettison the fairing. Kablamo! Confetti in space! Oh, out of fuel. Out of fuel, eject! Kaboom! Go little engine, go! Alright, we should be fine. Totally should be fine. Don't worry about it. You're, you're, oh, we're descending. That's probably not so fine. Oh, but he's happy. Never mind. It's all good. Don't worry. No worries at all, you just don't have enough power and you might collapse into the atmosphere and burn up and then die, but minor detail. Come on, 60, 65, 70 we are. Out of the atmosphere! Slightly stressful takeoff, but now it's just smooth sailing. No problems. I have shaken the rust off. Alright, here we are, on the dark side. Finally about to rendezvous. Alright, and there's our target! Something else I put on this ship, which makes night docking a little easier. Bing! Lights! Imagine that! We can make a spaceship, and now we can put light bulbs on it. I'm only slightly embarrassed it took me this long to actually use them. Although now slightly more embarrassed because I realize this ship doesn't have any full-size docking ports. Hmm. That's a bit of a screw-up. Wait, we don't need to dock. No, we can just kind of park alongside. Have everyone just hop out. There, we're pretty much stopped now. Alright, let's get these people out. Let's get out of this dump hole. This place ran out of new crossword puzzles and playing the same one over and over. Next! Oh, are we coming up on the sun? We are! Don't stare directly into it, whatever your name is, Kerman. Oh, you did! You stared directly into it! Abandoning this depressing... I don't want to call it a crap hole. This is depressing, poorly designed mothership? Not that it was poorly designed, just that it was not well designed. There's a difference. Now to the moon! Where's the moon? There's a moon. There we go. Moon! 
Oh, Nauga Engineer's back. Maybe it has to do with the rank of the pilot. That could be, because one of these is a pilot of high rank. All right, since we're now in space and rapidly losing electricity, well, we're not, not actually rapidly losing electricity, but whatever, shut up. We're going to launch some photovoltaic panels. And just now I realized I should have stuck more science on this thing. We could have retrieved some science from the moon. I really have been gone too long from this game, haven't I? Must not take a multi-month break again. And in case you're wondering why I put the node here, the old rule of thumb is like when you're orbiting Kerbin and you see the moon rise over the horizon there, there it is, that's when you burn. So that's when I'm burning. I use that kind of as a rule of thumb of when to burn out of orbit here and it usually gets me an encounter pretty easy. We have performed a spacewalk in orbit of Kerbin and crew transfer near Kerbin. That was a first? Could have swore we'd done some of that before. Guess not though, okay. I'll take the free funds and the science. Boop, encounter. Man, on the dark side of the moon, always the dark side. And I don't care how many internet memes says the dark side has cookies, it does not. It just has rocks, like all sides of the moon. I can do some science, EVA reports, board. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna achieve near lunar orbit, and then once we come around to the light side here, I will drop that orbit down to the ground. Good plan? Good. My plans don't have a tendency of working out, but it's good to have one, I guess. A plan is better than no plan. Wow, that's a nice low orbit. Except for this crashing part right here. That's not so beautiful. Ooh, EVA report! Do it! Good, now board! Cool, the lights light up the actual ship. Sun! Sunlight! It's so bright! More EVA report! Just look, we're so close we could reach out and touch it! But don't. Don't do that. We're going too fast. It would literally rip your hand off. Yep, we're pretty close. I can see the texture and everything. Alright, now is probably a good time to get those brakes. Get the brakes going. Oh, wait. I just lost a Kerbal. Ah! Go back! Go back! I'm sorry, I think we might lose this one. Yep, I think this Kerbal's dead. Unless we can uh, get get this one into orbit, maybe? How is the maps looking? Oh yeah, no, this one's fine. This Kerbal will be fine. I don't, don't want to kill a Kerbal. Please, please be fine. Please be fine. Okay, okay, I can just, I can just get this one into orbit. Okay. Wow, look at that. We just saved a Kerbal. All right, switch to Moonlander. Go Moonlander. Just screw that Kerbal. They're fine. They're, they're, they're orbiting. Okay, out of fuel. Not so fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That was another mistake. One of multiple, multiple mistakes. Is that Kerbal's orbit really not going to touch the surface? Okay, okay, whew. It's not so bad then. This one's kind of bad though. We're not slowing down as quickly as I would have liked. Not so good. Not so good at all. Having that slight Kerbal problem kind of, kind of screwed us. Using the thrusters and full throttle. I'm kind of burning upward here, you see? Uh, hopefully this upward trajectory will... Ooh, well that blew up. Hopefully the upward trajectory will slow us down without us dropping to the ground. Okay, okay, it's it's, it's going, it's working, it's working. We're, we're climbing. Okay, that'll buy us some time. What is this? Another milestone. We've entered into suborbital space flight above the moon. Could have swore I've done that before. Gonna have to do something about that Kerbal we left in orbit, but... They got a spacesuit. Should have brought snacks. How do you eat snacks on a spacesuit? Never mind. Okay. No, no, we're good. We're, we're gonna be fine now. Never hit the rocket before with a Kerbal hanging on the side of the ship. But, uh... Don't. Don't do that. I guess we can just rendezvous and pick her up on the way out. Triple check to make sure the line doesn't touch the ground. Okay, no. Okay, well, no, we're good. We're good. Good news is this looks like somewhat flat ground at least. Could be worse. Could be on the side of a crater. Okay, let's leave the rocket on to kind of slow our descent. Use the thrusters to stabilize and off. Can I do RCS off? SAS off? Is it too top heavy? No, it's a success. We did it. We landed. Although, I just realized we don't have all five Kerbals in the thing. If we don't have all five Kerbals in the thing, then we can't complete our mission. Hmm. Well, this Kerbal most certainly does not have enough fuel to land, I think. Right? Oh yeah, you do, you do not have the fuel to land. That is just, that is not happening. Ooh, there's a cool shot. Look at Kerbin. 
Oh, oh, camera angle. Right, let's just wait till she comes around again. Okay, she's almost back. Go ahead and set her as target. All right, gotta burn east. Okay, I guess uh, three, two, one, go. Let's see, that is not going particularly well, is it? Gotta speed up. Yep, she passed me. I got passed. Now, keep in mind, it's not a good idea to try to speed up and catch her. We gotta get into orbit, uh, but an orbit with some intersect somewhere, and then we'll worry about it. I think. Okay, so, now we're in an orbit, uh, I think. Yep, we're in an orbit with a potential near encounter. Real bad doesn't describe how badly I've screwed up this mission. Epic bad? Super de duper bad? We'll never complete this mission bad? 745 meters a second of delta V. Nope, I can't land again. If I can land, I can't take off again. That's for sure. Alright, here we are. Back in... Says there's an encounter. Where? Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, go. Go back. I know you're so close to the moon you can taste it. But don't. This mission is turning into one giant bag of suck. A bunch of stupid mistakes, and I can't land some Kerbals on the moon, and I'm trying to plan a Jewel 5 mission? That's not gonna go well, I can tell you that. I'm so close to the surface, I can see, literally see the texture loading in. Just not enough to land. Alright, and we're back, all five of us. I mean, that stupid rocket game, making me look like a big dumb. I'll show you who's a big dumb. There, I call it the Super More Power Refueler. Also includes science, and it'll work. Trust me. You have no reason to trust me. Why did I even bother saying that? I wouldn't trust me at this point. And go! Wow, this is a really stubby looking thing. So I just want to make sure it's clear. The design works. It would have worked. Minor piloting error, but the design worked. So mission accomplished? Sorta? Whoa, look at that thing spin! Spinny, spinny, spinny. All right, how close is that? Oh, that's pretty close. That's an all right encounter. Things are going swimmingly. This isn't a rescue mission because of multiple occurrences of stupidity. No, it was all on purpose. Flying right on past. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, we're good. I got this. I, I got this. I, I don't, I don't got this. Set that as target. Get pointed. Can we do the dock? Nice and easy. Oh, bonk. 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 Come on, they're lined up. Just correct. Boom! Docked! Alrighty then. Alright, now we just gotta get down to the service. Piece of cake. Should be real simple like. Just get us slowed down. Alright, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on our descent as well, because we're kind of coming in a bit fast. We're, we're really close, and we don't want to get too close to the ground too quickly. Okay, good. Almost 5 to 1, throttle to whatever. Thrust to weight. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, when this runs out, we're gonna have a really quick switch over. You ready? It's about to happen. Okay. Kaboom. Activate that engine. Oh, it didn't activate. Didn't activate. Control from here. Activate. Activate. Go! Good, good, good! Okay, it's burning. Okay, good. It's burning that first. Excellent. Try to slow down that falling speed. Is this enough? Is this enough throttle to wait? I hope. Like, can we slow ourselves down? Okay, so this is the important one. Vertical speed. How quickly we're falling towards the ground. We don't want that to get very high. But we also have to get the horizontal speed down to zero, but that's not as big of a problem. So I'm just going to keep my vertical speed lower than 20 meters a second falling. That, that's... I'm just guessing at what's the right thing to do here. There's no way you should listen to me anyway. You shouldn't take what I say, like, seriously. Like, I made a guy get out and then gunned it and left him in space. Alright, looks like we're going slow enough though. We shouldn't worry too much. Nah, we'll be fine. Unless we land in that crater there. What's this? We've started constructing the first station around the moon. We have performed a docking maneuver around the moon. Okay. Well, we got money. We got money and science and reputation for screwing up a mission and needing to save it. All right, I shall take your money and your fame or whatever. 
Totally deserved. Oh, there's a cool shot. Cool. So many cool epic shots. One from the other angle. And that would be a cool thumbnail main image. Oh geez, I'm pretty much stopped. Alright, we, we gotta we gotta fall a bit more. You know, this extra fuel's nice, but it added a lot of extra weight to this thing. So now we just don't have the same amount of thrust. 3,000 meters up. Okay, so this says 5,500 meters up, this said 3,000. And that's the difference between this is like above sea level, sea level on the moon, whatever that means. And this is uh, radar altitude, so like how far we actually are above the ground. So we need to keep our eye on this one. Goodbye, Kerbin, sinking below the horizon? Yeah, it's still a horizon on the moon. No atmosphere, no ocean to look over, but it's still a horizon, I think. Where is my reference shadow? Directly below me. Alrighty. Alright, descending. Descending again on the moon. You know, Buzz Aldrin didn't have to do this. No, because he got it right the first time. And bing! Come on, come on, come on! Hold it! Eh? Eh? Yay, it's still not too top heavy. Excellent! Do some more experiments. Seismic scan, EVA report. Let go! Drop to the bottom! Bonk! EVA report. Surface samples. Yay! Oh, well, you gotta get back in. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta have five Kerbals in there. For, like, science. Okay, wait. We gotta wait here for ten seconds. Okay, waiting. Uh, I'm looking at you. None. Build a new surface outpost on the moon. It is. It's pretty near the moon. I'm sitting on the moon. It's five, five Kerbals in it. Has an antenna. Has a docking port. It is generating power. Is it not near the moon enough? Dare I pull up the landing gear? Now it's literally on the moon. Crashed on the moon. Yes? Hmm. Me thinks we have a glitch. Landing gear back up? Almost tipped it over. <laughs> Nervous laugh. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have this person go around to the science modules. Oh no, don't fall over. Ah, quit bonking your head. Jeez, clumsy person. The reason I'm having them go up and taking the data is because uh, they can get the data out of the things and then they can bring it back into the control pod so we don't have to bring like this piece of equipment we can just bring the data back or which is which is quite convenient because i didn't attach those in any way that we could bring them back of course i don't really have a way to get the data from orbit back to Kerbin, but you know minor detail we'll deal with that later oh geez just broke us the thing she got bonked in the head okay i think that's everything Board. Okay, so if we can't complete this mission, oh, we can plant a flag on the moon. Well, let's have everyone get out. Why not? Party on the surface. So if everybody just hop right on out of there and fall, fall to your dooms. Make a Kerbal pyramid. Oh, bonk! I just knocked them all over. <laughs> okay, you plant flag. Wah, wah. Failed moon base mission. Ran afoul of a glitch or a stupidity. Not sure which. Alright everybody, back in. Back in the boat. At least we got that one mission, right? <sighs> Alright then, guess we're all back on. Suppose the only thing left to do is return! Go, go, go! Stupid mission not working out. Making me look bad. Camera in front of my friends. And out of fuel! Goodbye, jerk tank! Yeah, I said goodbye! Go away! Yeah. Goodbye, jerk tank! Now we can't land this, but we should probably put it into the orbit that we want the mothership to come up and reach it at. So we can get all the science, put it in the mothership, so when we get the mothership back, holy crap, we're gonna get a lot of science. Or we can just bring some of it back at one point and get all the science and maybe unlock some parts we need? Perhaps? I'm just gonna get this back into orbit and end the episode, because I need a drink. I don't drink, but I might need one now. Who knows? Alright, so for the mothership thing, I'm going to put it into a higher orbit than normal. And the reasoning for that is it doesn't take as much energy to get from two and a half million meters and out as it does to get from a hundred thousand meters and out. So I'll just shoot for two and a half million. No particular reason except that's just how it kind of worked out. There we go, it's within 500, 700 meters of square at two and a half million meters. Good enough!
and thus ends the most stressful moon mission ever. Probably not ever. I'm sure the people in Apollo 13 were a little more nervous. But this is probably the most stressful moon mission of this whole career mode, so I'm going to end it there, and we will start launching the mothership next time. Leave a comment uh, if you have a question. Leave a question. I used to do questions on this. Leave a question. I'll answer it. And and if you enjoyed, please leave a like, leave a comment. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe for more Kerbal Space Program. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And now, behold the maneuverability. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, don't behold that. No, no, no. That, that's, that didn't happen. Revert. Revert. I didn't screw that up. No one saw that. And away we go. When I do this, I'm not turning these on and off, I'm just switching modes. These are action groups. So one, two, three, four. It's kinda fancy, but it makes it so that I need to use like 40 keys at once to fly the stupid rocket game, making me look like a big dumb.